What's up guys? It is IRGT85. Happy Friday, but of course, we got we got video game stuff to talk about. The main focus of this video is going to be on the brand new Nintendo Switch leak that I find to be very interesting. I think it's going to go one of two ways, and I think that there's a lot of potential with this, especially with some stories that we've been talking about for the past few days. So if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, be sure to like and share the video as well. But without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games, and we're going to start things off very briefly talking about the PlayStation 5 situation. Now, we know that the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition is getting a remodel, and a YouTuber by the name of Austin Evans, who has like 5 million subscribers, got his hands on one before anyone else did, and basically made a lot of claims, saying that the system runs hotter, and that could lead to potential problems in the future. But when you actually look sort of beyond the clickbaity title, and, you know, no disrespect, clickbait is clickbait, you gotta make your money on the YouTubes, like, there wasn't really a story here. Like, I felt, and I'm a complete idiot, when it comes to things like technology and whatnot but even i could see that like yeah it has a smaller heat sink but also the fan on it is longer meaning that air will be able to flow through it and it's if even if it's a few degrees different it's not it's not really a big deal so austin stood by his claims he made a follow-up video saying that people were harassing him over this and stuff and whatnot but now more outlets are starting to get their hands on this digital edition and guess what it's not a big deal it doesn't really run all that much hotter. It doesn't impact gaming. It doesn't really impact anything whatsoever. Digital Foundry did a long video talking about this. And of course, the Digital Foundry video will end up getting buried under other videos because of the fact that it doesn't have a clickbaity headline or a big fancy title or thumbnail or anything like this. But in the Digital Foundry video, they essentially came to the conclusion that it's pretty much the same. As far as a gamer is concerned, they're not going to notice any difference with this system versus the other digital system that was currently available on the marketplace so really this was much ado about nothing and that's kind of what I felt how the situation was going into it when I first saw that video I was kind of like this doesn't really make sense like video game companies are not stupid they're not gonna make hardware substantially worse just to save a few dollars if in the long run that saving a few dollars is gonna come back to bite them in the ass because of lawsuits or you know just people unhappy with the system I think everyone sort of learned about cooling during the Xbox 360 era when that original Xbox 360 had so many damn problems that, of course, the Red Ring of Death was the cause of a heating issue with that system. So, if you plan on picking up the new digital edition of the PlayStation 5, do not worry. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But, hell, Austin Evans made a bunch of money off that video. So, salute, Playboy. I, I see what you're doing. I, I see what you're doing. But now that that is out of the way, there's definitely some interesting stuff going on right now with Nintendo. We talked, of course, a few days ago about the big Nintendo Switch firmware update that brought firmware 13.0.0 to the system. There's also some mystery stuff with the Nintendo Switch dock. I still don't fully understand it. I still haven't seen a good enough explanation to make me understand why the dock needs updates when it can only do it on the new Nintendo Switch OLED model dock, but whatever. I guess we'll find out eventually. And then yesterday, of course, we talked about the potential of the N64 coming to the Nintendo Switch's online service. Now, of course, a lot of people are expecting Game Boy to be the next thing available, but it seems like there's some more rumblings happening with this. It seems like there's going to be more systems added and a potential for different tiers of these systems so that you could get more bang for your buck if you want to go to a higher tier system it's really just sort of up in the air it's really just rumor and speculation but there have been cooperating reports since then about this thing that nate the hate and mvg talked about my favorite british boy he's he's a brit He's a Brit. But yeah, there's been a lot of interesting stuff going on around with the N64. And then yesterday, there was a big leak that leads people to believe that maybe this N64 thing is actually true. Now, I kind of want to explore both things when it comes to this leak because there's sort of that N64 answer, but then there's another answer that isn't quite as glamorous, but we'll dive into it. So essentially what happened yesterday was that a new patent was submitted to the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, and Nintendo actually put this in. But what's interesting about this is the model number of this patent is HAC-043. Now, if you go back, you might remember that the Super Nintendo, when that came to the Nintendo Switch's online service, you of course got new controllers for that. You got the wireless controller. I actually have it. It's a it's a really good controller, honestly. It feels like an original Super Nintendo controller, but that system for the filing of it, the model number of it was HAC-042. So this is the next thing in a sequence for controllers. Now, there isn't really any 
information about this it's just simply known as HAC-043 within 180 days of the patent filing Nintendo can then add external and internal photos and more details on this and of course if you're looking at that 180 days from now would be right around the end of March which would end the fiscal year for Nintendo so maybe they're looking at getting a boost in the first half of 2022 before the physical year ends so that their stats look better by potentially adding in another controller to the family and what is this controller going to be well like I said there's definitely two trains of thoughts with this the first train of thought would be that this is another controller for the Nintendo Switch in the style of things that we have seen before with the NES and the Super NES controllers. Like I said, this is HAC-043, whereas the Super Nintendo controller was HAC-042. So obviously, this is the next thing for Nintendo, whatever that may be. So a lot of people are thinking, well, it might have something to do with Game Boy or it might have something to do with the N64. Now, as far as the Game Boy is concerned, I don't know what you would do for a Game Boy controller like I mean you only need two buttons for Game Boy and Game Boy Color games so you don't really need a dedicated controller for it maybe you could have some sort of apparatus I don't know the more I think about the Game Boy side of it the more it just doesn't make sense as to why they would release something in the line of the Game Boy for a Game Boy controller for the Nintendo Switch because I mean it's pointless it's a two button thing it there is no external controller for it like you have with the NES and the Super NES so that's that doesn't really make sense and then you have the other thing that would be the n64 controller and you have to admit the n64 controller was very unique it was a very unique controller i feel like it's kind of like extended my hands because i don't have really big hands but i feel like the webbing and stuff in my hands got bigger because as a youth i played the n64 and like i held the controller like a complete idiot like i would do it like this so like my thumb was getting the middle stick i didn't hold the middle stick i hold the two end sides so like my hands were like constantly stretched but once i got used to it like it was fine i never i never thought to hold the middle nub or whatever i just thought it was there just for sort of decoration but you know whatever so could this be an n64 controller that will be used with the nintendo switch's online service when they add or should they add a nintendo 64 games into it i think that is somewhat likely it's definitely something that you can't just look past when you're talking about this new patent because like i said it's the next sequence in the numbers after the super nintendo controller but like I said, there is another side of the coin with this situation. And this is actually kind of interesting because I feel like nobody's really talking about this. But when you kind of look at it, you know, maybe it's not going to be an N64 controller. or Maybe it's not going to be a controller at all. So I found this website online called Luckless Heaven Arcade. Evidently, they're trying to become the biggest Nintendo encyclopedia on the internet. I will have a link to it in the description box down below. But basically, they're chronicalizing every single Nintendo Switch related thing that has been releasing that has an HAC listing for it. So you can see here, HAC 001 is the actual Nintendo Switch itself, AC adapter, Switch batteries, all sorts of stuff like that. And there are a lot of HAC things. A lot of them do pertain to controllers, but some of them pertain to other things that have nothing to do with the controller but one of the things i want to point out here is the nes controllers that we, of course we've got we got the left and the right uh controllers for the nes online service hac 033 hac 034 so now we're jumping up of course to the uh super nintendo which is hac 042 and now a lot of people of course are thinking that this hac 043 is going to be the n64 controller but I'm not quite sure because like look around the things around this and like you know some of this this isn't a controller a uh, Mario Kart live gate HAC 039 HAC 040 a stylus uh, you know HAC 041 another stylus so like there's really no sort of rhyme or reason with the way these are listed and they're just kind of listed as whatever you know we got toy cons with the labo stuff and things of that the labo storage box i didn't even know this was a freaking thing like i don't know i just i just threw my labos away but hey evidently they made a box that you can use for this so does this necessarily mean concrete evidence that this is something that has to do with the game boy or the n64 potentially coming to the virtual console side of the nintendo switch online service I, you know it's definitely hard to say completely yes because of the fact that you have all this sort of weird stuff when it comes to other HAC listings. 
Now, do I think that it has a chance of being a Nintendo 64 or something Game Boy related, which I still don't know what it would be? I mean, of course I do. There's definitely some sort of precedent set here with previous HAC listings, but all because of the number being HAC-043 doesn't necessarily mean that it's superseding the Super Nintendo controllers. It's just sort of how they fall in line with the different numberings and stuff like that. It's not like HAC-041 is the NES controller, which I just showed you guys. I mean, it's not. A stylus is that number so what does this mean i don't know i think nintendo is working on something of course we're all waiting for a nintendo direct to happen in the month of september where we learn about things that are going to be happening for the second half of 2021 and of course the first half of 2022 and i do think there will be something involving the nintendo switches online service when we learn about this stuff like i said it is interesting that this was filed on september 16th and that within 180 days after the 180 days is up they could show pictures and whatnot of this and of course Mathematically speaking, that would be around the end of March. So it looks like this is something that will launch in the current physical year for Nintendo so that they could get a boost of something. And what better way to boost Nintendo Switch sales and boost people playing on the system than to add more stuff to the online service? Because they like to talk about the online stuff. It's definitely something that's always brought up in shareholder meetings. And it's something they talk about in all their financial related things because it's residual income for people that are playing on the Nintendo Switch. So they want to increase it. So it seems like something is happening is it an n64 controller is it something game boy related i you know it's definitely too early to say but i think the timing and all the rumors that we're hearing are very interesting stuff so hold on because i think nintendo still has some secrets and surprises left for the end of 2021 Alrighty, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know what you think of everything in the comments section down below. What do you think about Austin Evans' video? And are you surprised that it was really no big deal? Because, I mean, I'm not. If, if you guys listen to me once in a while, you wouldn't be surprised by things like this. And of course, this Nintendo Switch leak. What does it mean? What is it going to be? Who the hell knows? Just speculate in the comments. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and share the video as well. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.